days ago. It was seven below zero here. So as you can see, we're not completely thawed out yet. But this is my colonial field where I got the uh, two reals right before we had the major snowstorm. So we're still thawing out, but uh, I couldn't wait any longer. So we're getting out in the dirt. We're back, back at soon. the spot where uh, I got the uh, the 15, uh, sorry, 1632 Cobb and the Real. And uh, then we were pounded by snow for a week, week and a half. But just to give you an idea why I'm here, over the top of that chicken coop, you're looking at the top of a 1730s, 1740s carriage house. And behind that is the, the original homestead, same year, 1730s, 1740s. And uh, what we were talking about on the show a few nights ago, if you look, there's one, two, three, four, five, there's six, seven, even more cedar trees planted in a straight line. Uh, that denotes a windbreak. So to the east of that is where I'll be hunting for uh, an old homestead. And you can see there's some spacing in there, some larger trees. Uh, hopefully we'll have some luck back soon. Give you guys an idea to let you know uh, we don't dig all treasure out here. This is my 14th signal. Uh, this one rang up uh, in the 1240s, tight signature. Thought sure I had a coin. And just to let you know, uh, if you're not digging trash, you're not digging, brother. Uh, there's, there's a million combinations of, of problems that are going to hit your machine like it's a gold coin or a silver coin. And uh, it's not all the time. Back soon. Okay, about uh, two feet from that last uh, tin can, got a signal uh, coming up in the 1240s again. Tight signature. We are down, we're down it. on it. And we were showing at the, at the very end here two, two signatures in the ground. And uh, there's definitely that. Uh, it's a large set. It's toasted, but we'll see if we can get a date off it later. Uh, uh, not not bad for our first decent find of the day, but let's see what else is in that hole. Uh, there's target two. Tin can. We, we got a 19th century coin and a, might be a 21st century tin can in the same hole. Got to dig it. Back soon. We're, we're into the we're into the woods, and I, I kind of follow the natural trails to a, a clearing. We have a clearing here. There's nothing you can see. There's nothing cut down. It's just a natural clearing. Um, I got a good signal. I'll show you. Whether you can see it or not, it's in the 1245, 1246. That's pretty much the universal sign for a coin. But we're we're also dealing with a good six inch layer of tree mulch, uh, wood mulch. So as you can see, that's what we're doing now. We're cutting away a nice little square of wood mulch into my my pinpoint zone. Uh, so uh, give me a minute. We'll rip it out and uh, back pulled down. about a one foot square away. That's a good four inches of the, of the uh, wood mulch exposing that. Now that's where I, I roughly pinpointed it. We'll see if it's. We know it's still in there. Okay, now, okay, now we're in there below this line at about six inches. Uh, we are so I'll be back in a minute. Four to five inches deep. Whatever the target was is out of the hole. And it's definitely a coin. Hold on, let me look. And uh, okay, I, I robbed that shut enough, but we got us uh, we got us what looks like a King George. I'll clean it up, show it to you guys later. Back soon. It's definitely King George. Um, I robbed it, which definitely you shouldn't do. But you know, you get excited and I forget. But I did expose the head, so. There is a King George, you know, digging in the woods can be a pain in the butt. But if you get a, if you get a chirp of any kind of signal that's repeating, cut away that wood mulch, get back down in there, and uh, 
Like I said, it's a pain in the butt, but uh, pays off. Back soon. Of course, right in the hearts now. Uh, we're in uh, the mid 12s. Let's see, we got, uh, well, you can see, it's, it's almost 50 out. Snow's melting like crazy, and uh, the, the peaks of these uh, plow rows are soft as hell. But you get here in a little bit of shade, and uh, hard as a rock, still frozen. But we dug out our hole. You see or not? But that is a musket trigger guard. Awesome. Back soon. Okay, got the, uh, about a foot apart. Got two signals. Mid 12s. And mid 12s. All right, back in a minute. See what we got. Okay, number one's out of the ground. And. And, of course, the rare and ancient uh, tin can. And, uh, all right, give me a minute. Try number two. <sighs> number two. And number two, there's an Indian head. Don't know the date, but here we go, guys. Two signals, almost identical, one digit apart. One's a tin can, one's an Indian head penny. Dig everything that repeats. Back soon. Okay, guys, on my way out, my last signals of the day. Uh, I don't, the only reason I dug it is it was repeating and had a nice signature on my screen of the CTX. The numbers were junk, absolute junk. But dig everything that repeats because that's either large scent or a colonial copper. And uh, we'll know when we get back to the shop. Back soon.